What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create an A-B split test page variation for any unbounced page that you want so that you can test out the pages, determine which one converts better, and then repeat the process over and over again. So it's pretty simple to do, but there are a few things I do I would like to mention as I go through this. So let's get started right away. Here's our YouTube Keto diet page that we've created at the very start. Check out my video right here up above if you want to see how to do the page and any other elements you're interested in. And what you're going to want to do if you want to create the split test is click on add variant. Very simple. And you can either create a duplicate from your existing variant and then just make tiny options like change the headline, change a picture, whatever. You can start from scratch, so make a whole new variation from the beginning, uh, or start with a template that Unbounce has, all the templates that you saw when we first created this page. So the most likely option you're going to pick is this, duplicate an existing variant and click on create. And what that's going to do is just make a copy of this, an exact copy. So what you would want to do is go into edit, make the little change, such as a headline, a picture, and then save it, okay? Uh, so for example, here, you know, it's it says get your free 30-day keto diet plan. We're gonna say, for instance, uh, sign up now to get your plan, okay? Just as an example, I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'll click save and I'll go back. So one thing you want to keep in mind with split tests is don't do too many changes at once. I have seen some people who would change a picture, who would change the headline, who would change text, testimonials, change videos, change everything all at once in one variant. And then when they saw better or worse results, they wouldn't know why because there's so many factors that would go into it. So I would say, take your time. If you find a profitable campaign, take your time and just do one change at a time. You know, if you have a profitable campaign, that's good. That means you can already run it for a long time. You don't have to rush in and do all these changes in the very first day and see which one converts. There's no rush. Make a change at a time, change the headline for a few days, for a week, see which one converts better, change the picture the next week, stuff like that, okay? Very important because you cannot make these huge changes and then say, okay, well, you know, this page converted better because of these 10 changes. You have no idea which one contributed to the success or failure. So that's that. Uh, if we want to activate the split test, we, you do have to republish the page, okay? Uh, before I do that though, let me do a few things here. So first off, you might want to rename your variants, right? This is first variant, first variant copy one. It does not seem uh, very nice. So maybe you might want to say, for example, you know, copy one, right? This isn't too nice either, but just to give you an example of how it's done, this one may be copy two, or maybe this one you can name, you know, champion variant and then variation one, right? So this one champion, and it already says current champion here, but it looks nicer when you see it right on the page. So here champion one here, maybe let's make it copy one, right? And then you can keep going. Um, you can add as many variants as you want to, I believe. I've added like six or seven and I could still keep adding more. So unlike ClickFunnels where they changed it to where you can only add one variant at a time, here you can add many. So you can keep on adding variants, right? Um, and I'm just doing this video again to show you everything there is to split test, all the different options there are. So, um, you know, I'm showing you all the capabilities. You can rename these as well. And what you can do then is in your first variant, change the headline. In the second variant, change the video. In the third variant, change the testimonials, whatever, right? Change the colors, change the call to action button, change the menu, whatever, okay? And then you can go into each one of these individually, click on edit, make the changes, and that's it, right? Your split test is pretty much done. There's still a few things we will go over. If you want to delete split tests, you will click here on the little three buttons you will click deactivate this variant, okay? That's step one. So if you deactivate the variant, the variant is not deleted completely. It is still there in case you wanna go back and reuse it. So you would click here and then you would say, uh, add to test again, and you're going to reuse it again. So if you think that, okay, uh, you still wanna work a little bit on the variant, it's not quite ready yet, but you don't wanna completely delete it, you might want to just deactivate it. But if you do want to completely delete it, you go to the deactivated list and then just click delete now, okay? So now the delete option will be available. 
And that's all there is to it, okay? Um, so let's publish this page. And then there is one more thing we do have to do in order to actually um, activate this, okay? Uh, in order to activate this split test. And I will go over a few other options that are there as well. Let's just give it a second to load though. Usually, if, if I have to wait for too long, I pause the video and come back, but I don't want to make you feel like, like I left something out. You know, I want to make a video feel like it's, you know, from start to finish, like just like you're looking behind my shoulder. So that's that. It wasn't too long of a wait. It's usually much faster. But one more thing you do have to do before the split test actually starts is you have to click on the wait right here, okay? So you have to select what percentage you want to go um, to each variant. So in this case, right, it's a, we want to test it, so we want to make it even, so 50-50, right? And then I'll click Confirm. And now our split test is officially done. So we've published, oh, and we have to publish. But um, when you click on the URL at the top, it will redirect people to either one variation or the other. Now, don't take the URL put it into a browser and keep refreshing. That will not work because the cookies will be saved to a specific variation for you. So if you really want to test whether this works or not, what you should do is open different browsers in cognito modes and that will do a 50-50 split test, okay? But that's pretty much it. In this case, your split test is complete. Now let me go over a few other details that you might be wondering about. So. First off, you have the option to do the split test, which is the whole point here, or you have the option to send traffic to one page. So if you find a winner or you say, you know, I don't like this page anymore or whatever, you want to send traffic to one page, the easier way if you have 10 pages is to just click on standard and just send traffic to one of these pages. And that's it. It's, you know, so if I say enable standard mode, it's going to basically deactivate automatically all the other variants and it's going to send traffic to this one mode. Then if I want to activate an A-B test again, I'm going to click that. And we might have to reactivate that again. And then we have to republish the page, make it 50-50 again, okay? I'm not going to spend too much time here doing this, so I'm not going to republish the page again. Um, but once I republish it, the split test is active again, okay? But that's what these two modes are. So the other thing is, if you go here, uh, or actually, let me click here. So edit means you can edit the page. Preview means you will just preview this duplicate page within the Unbounced browser. So you're not previewing, uh, previewing it as a actual URL. You're going to preview it within the Unbounced um, kind of interface, okay? Duplicate means it's basically the same thing as just creating another variant. It's You're going to literally duplicate this exact variant. So same thing as add variant pretty much. Uh, promote to champion, uh, this will be your main variant. So if you determine that this is the winner, then you would promote it to champion and this will be your main um, your main winning page, right? And then you, as you create more split tests, you crown who the champion is, right? What the winning uh, page looks like. Create a new page from variant. So what this will allow you to do is, this will allow you to move this page into a completely different kind of funnel. So you see here, um, I have 38 different pages that I've created and this whole thing in Unbounce is considered a page. So it's like um, where I can make changes and create split tests and stuff like that. So think of it as campaigns, okay? Think of Unbounce pages as campaigns. So if I create a new page from Variant, I'm basically going to create another campaign from this variant, and that's what that is. Move to another page means that you're not going to create another campaign, but you're going to move this variant to an existing campaign. So as you can see here, I have 38 different campaigns active, well, 37 aside from this one. So I can click here and I can click on move to another page, and what that's going to do is move this variant into one of those existing, basically, campaigns, and that's what that is. And then you have deactivate this variant, which we went over. So that's pretty much it. The one more thing I did want to go over, and here obviously you'll have your chart, right? If you're more of a visual person. The one more thing is actually seeing results. So you're going to see this confidence interval here, and this confidence interval will say how confident it is after you start getting some results and some conversions that one of these variations performed better, okay? Um, so in 
basic statistics, you want to make sure that the confidence interval is at 95% or higher. If it's anything less than that, it means there is a chance that the results aren't that certain. So a 95% confidence interval means that the results of the study are 95% confident that one is better than the other, okay? So you wanna make sure when you're making your conclusions, you wait for this confidence interval to say 95% or higher. The other thing you're going to see is you're going to see little numbers here. After you start the test, you're going to see little numbers here, right there, next to each champion variant, showing how well it's performing in comparison with the champion. So if this one got 20 conversions and this one got 10 conversions, um, then this one is performing twice as well as the first one. So you're gonna see plus 100% right here. Okay, there's gonna be a little percentage and that will help you determine which variation is better. And then you're gonna look at the confidence interval and see that it's 95% or higher, which will give you the sign that, hey, I'm pretty confident that this variation is so much better than the other one. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you don't wanna look at the percentages, that's fine. Manually look at the conversion rate or conversions and see, okay, this page conversion rate's 20%, this one is 50%. Obviously the 50% is better. Now, assuming you have enough traffic, don't make those conclusions with just two clicks. Assuming you have you know, sufficient data to make those de decisions, that's how you would look at it. Make sure you obviously have conversions set up. Check out my Unbounce playlist. I'm gonna link up above right there. Um, so you could take a look and learn how to set these up, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, that should show up on the page when you create it. So that's pretty much all there is to split testing. I tried to be as detailed as I could to give you as much, as, as much information. Um, and I think I covered everything there is to know about these unbalanced split tests. So um, that's it. Check out these two videos up above on generating Google and Facebook traffic, how to create your campaign so you could learn how to drive traffic to this landing page. But that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.